be Trimby running the Leon in the bottom lane. Here it will lock in the Gnar. Let's zoom out. What do these two team compositions say to you? Wow. Okay. So if we take a whole zoom out, you can see Odomne, weak side king again. There is a ward inside the river. So depending on the pathing that Inspired chooses, there's Odo jumps forward, got the tongue lash, three stacks, Inspired still holding on. The hop has already been used. Flash is available. The dash will be used in a moment or two. Not just yet. Underneath the tower, wind becomes lightning, easily picked up. Really? Yeah. Flash available to him. Now Razork will find Inspired. Both mid laners are relatively low. Continuing to chase. Inspired's got that flash. That's the flash forward from Razork. Does VTO follow? He does. Rune Prison comes out as well. Blade of the Rune King plus a couple extra autos. It's VTO with the count kill. While that's going on, Copy gets jumped on. The flash forward from Trimby. While burning, Copy's going low. Hunt Summer's got no mana. He can't find the last auto. It's Trimby that will pick it up. Double teleports into the bottom lane as VTO will be chased by Larson. Larson dashes forward. Trimby re engages onto Vanda. VTO's going to be the Next target, he's taken out by Larson. Defensive flash from Vanda underneath the tower. Larson's got himself one, got himself the double, and Odo for Razog, and he has absolutely no means to get inside his jungle. Don oh and Diver word. zone. Odo's gone underneath the tower. The Grey Health will get popped. Here it's about to go Mega Nar, but oh. he can't avoid the lick. Odo with the solo. Up and available, but it is a relief that Colby's arrow is down. Although. Because we know potential that oh, Razok is behind. On Larson. Razok is coming in. Level 7. Room Prison comes out. Dash for Dredge line is flashed away from. Razok with a heartbreaker. We'll be able to pick up the kill for the assist from Vitor. Satchel charge from Ziggs. Take the tower. Final more gold. He, he prepped it as yeah. well. Final more gold in Hans Sama. Goodbye. Yeah, really nicely done. While well, that's going on, Odo fancies himself another chance. Again? The Devour comes right back out. Is this the second solo bolo for Odo? Defensive flash away. Sidestep the tongue lash. Continuing to run. Odo one. Dashes, one doesn't second. doesn't find the knockup. Here it gets tongue lashed one last time. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Get in that belly. But Dragon is up. Teleport will be available in a moment. Major Inferno Bomb comes down. Oh, Vito knocked back from a fantastic satchel. Vito gets taken out. Solar Flare locks down Vanda. He's instantly down. Here it teleports in to his death. Gift wrapping another for Rogue. Wow. So that gave him the item that quickly. This is due to all that money insurgents into Han Sama. That's gold in the lead at 15 minutes. Here it will just about Mega Nar out. Vito is going to teleport into the fray. Larson's here with the culling. There comes Vito. That solar flare was so well timed. Trimby, you are a madman. Razork's not going to be able to get the kill just yet. Finally does so. Turns himself into the, the Kench and now turns the attention back around. Ash Arrow comes out and will delay the inevitable. Bouncing bombs are being thrown. Flash forward from Han Sama. Satchel Charge won't find here, but it may not be needed. Larson dashes forward. The Mega Inferno Bomb goes as well. And despite the one kill back, it simply doesn't matter. At a rogue are obliterating misfits. They are just so much further ahead. They have the Ludens right there. You see Kobe again. Roughly. And now misfits are going to need a miracle. They've done it several times already, just not against Rogue. They will find themselves out of Wamne, who stays alive despite all of the pressure and waddles himself to safety. Razork jumps all the way forward with that Heartbreaker. Trimby's finally taken out. Misfits with one on the board, but here comes the backup. Here comes the reinforcements, and here comes Rogue. An audacious charge to win becomes Lightning. Copy flashes over the wall. Culling will tag him down. Not enough to die just yet. Last and one last dash. Forward will secure the zigs in the choke point. Hansama was just able to throw bomb after bomb after bomb, decimated misfits trying to make something happen right there. And I appreciate misfits for trying yeah. for trying to get that pick, but you cannot play against the zigs like this. They don't, yeah. Kobe is mostly there to lay down the slows and be the one that controls. The abyssal dive comes out, a room prison holds Odo for now. Solar flare, I'm waiting for it. Trimby's not pulled the trigger, but Razork has. He's jumped onto Larson. Larson catches the ECA. He's taken out. That's a heartbreaker. Use Razork is now Lucian. He's a much better champion for caught up at the Solar Flare. You cannot avoid the CC. Here it forced to hop and skip and jump away to safety. Dredge line re-engaged from Vanders just to buy time, but Odo's not Team, done yet. Inspired is just handling them 1v3. Well, Misfits, they're not done yet. Vizio jumps all the way forward, but he's taking so much damage. Does manage to get one back, but now here it's in a 2v1. Support's coming. Devour has been used. Notice running for his life. Here it has now gone Mega Gnar. No flash available to him. The path that is hallowed is on Razork's feet over the wall. The Trimby. Hex Flash from Trimby manages to get a shield at Daybreak into the Zenith Blade, and they'll force the Flash from Razork. An Abyssal Dive means that Hirit will be forced to gnaw Odo against the wall. Next Dragon, Hirit. Oh, Hirit. No Flash available. He's a little bit tired. We'll be able to hop over Inspired, but gets charged down audaciously, and Larson 
won't be able to secure the kill. It's the sixth one that is there picked up. And now all of a sudden, Odo, he's been jumped on by three members. Heartbreak has been used, and Odo forced to flash away to safety. The Mega Inferno oh. Bomb does so much damage. Vanda catches on with the dredge line, chucks out the mines. Now Vizio and Razoka running for their lives. Copy. The Enchanted Crystal is available. He's not fired. It just... They completely pushed back the entire of Misfits. They left them really low HP. They have access to the bank. Going yeah. on. Misfits, they were able to get into the river first. Oh, the dragon. Is there again. The dragon is picked up by Misfits. That's two apiece. But Odo's inside the pit looking for the fight. Trimby's holding on to that solar flare for now. Caught out the E. There goes Inspired. That's a Megan R against the wall. Two members locked down. Rogue continue the chase. Vito's doing what he can to slow down the damage, but he simply cannot stop it. One, two deaths already. Parent empowered minion siege. And Trimby's just going to miss that Zenith blade. It's nearly a 10,000 gold lead. And Razork is throwing up the crab as Larson's trying to chase him down. I mean, Rogue, they are here to play and to win. If they win this series, they are guaranteed to go to world. Who did we say received that massive fat shutdown from Hansama? It was Vitio. Who was kept entirely out of the entire fight when Rogue were grouped and Rise would shine in such a situ situation? It was Vitio, because Hansama had his sights on him. Patient here on the Rogue side of the rift because they've been able to group up, force these fights, force these objectives. And while Rogue take the top tower with this Red Bull Baron power play, down in the bottom lane here, it will pick up the first tower of the game for Misfits. I'm looking at Sam Ward for Hiri to TP on, and there is nothing at all behind Rogue. They're going to have to fight front to back, and Rogue win this because they have the zigs. Yeah. They have so much uh, space control with the bombs, with the satchel, with everything. Yeah, of course, with Sin Zhao as well. He's going to be able to jump in with that three-talent strike. A little bit alone on this side of the rift for now. Long Trimby. range Zenith Blade into the Carling. VTO's gone. He's just blown up by the Mega Inferno Bomb. It is fun spike going low. Trimby's going to be the next target. Devi will buy some time. Defensive flashes away from Razork. Heartbreaker did nothing. Two more kills to Rogue. Two inhibitors to Rogue. And they've only got Wave two Nexus top. turrets left to pick up the first game of this best of five. Three members of Misfits remain. Here it has just timed out from the Mega Nar. So he's got no CC available to him. Inspired dashes forward and shuts down Vanda. But Behind his base, the bouncing bombs land onto Kobe. That will pop the shield of Daybreak. And now all of a sudden, the Nexus turret is the last thing standing. 26 kills in 28 minutes. Rogue have deconstructed Misfits in the first of potentially five. And they will take down the Nexus to pick up the first win in our playoffs. That we were talking about. And a little bit of safety in that bottom lane. The Zaya added to Vanda's Rakan. Okay, so... These teams, it's pretty obvious what they want to do. Misfits are like, we're going to show up. Oh, they Kobe. are able to survive. Kobe is going to get tagged out by that E. Flashes away already. Kobe sticking around in lane. Loses his summoner spell. Now teleports into the top. Here it's going to need that passive to stay alive just long enough for VTO to arrive. Very nicely done with the W. Here it in his lane. Instantly TPs in to punish Odoamne, and then they won't bot lane as well. Well, this is the cast of curse, of course. Remember that no flash Varus you just told Making about. use of the comp they have. They actually don't, there's like no summoners on the side of Rogue, so all they can do is just play aggressive just like this. They've got the tools. They have. Rome has already started moving towards the top side of the map. There's three members for Rogue in the river, two Ooh. only for Misfits, oh, Russell. Zork goes in, smites it away. Does manage to use the ultimate by some time. VTO jumps onto Larson, but there's enough members from Rogue to join the fight. VTO forced to use that distortion to safety and hear it by some time with the Hextech ultimatum. He's taken out two deaths for the Herald. That Herald needs to be damn the Misfits well. having that tiny bit of advantage, but it being Rogue, they've instantly closed down the gap. They have indeed. Larson's going to flash away, but still gets caught up by the ethereal chains. That shockwave's a sombrero. Crescent God comes up from Razorki, dives underneath the tower. Yes, he picked up the kill, but he donates. It's a no. Divine Sunderer picked up here for Misfits. Uh, correction for uh, Inspired already. So much attention to this game. This guy has to carry. Well, Misfits are sticking around. Trimby engages. That's the dash forward and the ultimate with the flash committed. Crescent God buys a little bit of time. Here comes Vanda down with the quickness, but it's a resort that's already dead. Cobby's trying to fire the feathers forward, but Inspired heart breaks Misfits. Now all the backside. Vito's caught up by the shockwave. Cobby stays alive just a few seconds longer. One, two, three Misfits. Oh, going into the latter stage of the game, they go back 
baseline access, and they have found inspired. Well, they're going to jump onto him. Hextech Ultimatum comes out. This is a 2v2 for now. There's support coming from the river. Inspired has stayed alive for so incredibly long. He's hiding in the mist, running for his life. Hear it? Now, Wodo is trying to join him as well. That is the shutdown to hear it. Camille. You mentioned how wrong have built a front to back, if you will, composition, a kiting composition. Yeah, when you're 18 minutes, the game is still very, very close. Rogue have all of the tools. But I do love the fact of playing for an Infernal Soul. Both of these compositions are going to be so happy if they can get themselves towards that objective. I have to give also massive props to Odo Amna for the way he's playing this game right now. The fights are going to be very, very intriguing, as we can see. Um, Misfits were able to pick up a tower in the bottom lane. Um, Kobe shoves that one in. Hear it with the help of the oh, is available. Keep your eyes in the mid lane because Kobe is left alone mid. And Hextech ultimates him just means Odo will get run down. I mean, that is everything and the kitchen sink thrown to kill Odo. It's about sending a message. It's about securing the kill. It's about securing the tower. And for Misfits, it's a 1500 gold lead, a four man stack correction, five man stack in the mid lane will unlock the fourth top. Recognize Odo's down. It allowed them to react quickly enough. It is also 90 seconds until the dragon, and all of a sudden, VTO will be able to survive a few seconds longer. Gets caught up by the Fisher, and he was looking for the kill into Hans Summer. This is what that we full summoners Hans Summer would have gone down. This is want to try their chances right now because all the ultimates are down on the top side. Well, 3v3, let's fight. No flash sitting there for Trimby. It's not going to be a 3v3. Well, it's going to continue chasing. Teleports now coming in here. Odoamne. Odoamne. Vanda throws down the quickness. Two more teleports being channeled to the top lane. Here it's going to join the fray. Three members this time round. The Winter's Bite was just a little bit early. Hextech Ultimate has already come down. Odoamne is already dead. Leblanc now VTO has rejoined the fight. But what can Misfits do? I mean, so many summoners are used, and Larson will be taken out. The kill is secured That's by Baron. Herod. Will this open up Baron? BTO continues the chase. He's managed to catch out Trumpy. Trumpy's going to be able to stand behind me with Hans Summer, trying to buy some time. One, two, three members of Rogue are down, and Misfits are turning for Baron. Rogue time has been activated. We mentioned it. It's over 20 minutes, and Rogue overextend yet again. Instantly punished. Slap on the hand, and the Baron is going to belong to Misfits. I'm getting I'm sorry, Trevor, but I'm getting deja vu of their first game this season. Now, the thing is, that slap on the hand led to Baron. Obviously, I the think calculated punish on the ultimates being down. Vitya wasn't Tower griefing, Fraser. it was calculated. No, no you cannot they take the slow, the steady approach. Their team fight looks great. They've got all the engaged oh, tools. Oh, Vanda is going to get chopped down. This time round, there's no objectives to play for, so oh, just down, w. that's not good enough. The Mimic on the Distortion, Ethereal Chains, jumping back to the original W, jumping back to the original R. Oh, I'm not going to get too excited. This kill is just a moment away because VTO is running to the waiting hands of Larson. If one of these three don't pick it up, Larson will. So VTO cut down where he stands, and now all of a sudden, those Baron-empowered sieges and pushes, they've just fizzled into nothing. I've got a bunch of question mark pings in my head right now because I don't know that, they, again, they're trying to pull the 1-3-1 one, one with three barred up lanes, but it's impossible because they don't have teleports to assist. So right there, you see that Viteo got jumped on, no one assisted, but luckily for Misfits, because Rogue committed on the top side of the map, they'll take mid, and I'm not sure how Misfits that start this one off, Waiting for the engage, waiting for the fight. Where is it going? Dragon down to 2,000. It's picked up by Misfits. They get themselves the soul, but at what cost? That is a fantastic crescent god. It splits up all of Rogue. The shockwave comes out from Larson. It does so much damage, but it's not enough. The carries are taken down. Everybody on Misfits goes golden. They've got the soul. They've got the ace. And they're going to turn their attention to Rogue's base. Misfits have done it. We talked about their team fighting prowess. This is where individual talent shines through and it absolutely did when it counted Kobe coming in clutch into this fight and touch they tried to take him down but they couldn't hear it with the flank they absolutely sandwiched rogue in this fight I need to see a replay of that fight because there were so many things happening on so many sides and despite what was what, two, three people on that shockwave, it didn't matter. Misfits bounce back to even the series. Oh, I, I wish, I wish I had more time to look at that team fight. Okay. And it's gonna happen. So Zoe will compliment Ash, Fiora, Zinzao, and Brom. You've got the long range, CP Trouble Bubble, Enchanted Crystal, you've got low mobility backline, Cogmore and Lulu, but then you've got to dodge the three feet in trouble, but he is backing away. 
it is still a little bit scary at trouble. I wonder what the wave state is like for Misfits Botland as well, because Razok is sticking around. Lulu Coldmo very squishy, but here it in trouble yet again. He is indeed. The repost comes out, flash away. Here it will get jumped on. He's trying to get some damage back onto one. Oh, oh, first blood to hear it, but he will concede the kill back to Inspired. Now all of a sudden, Razok is going for this time. Larson on something that is more aggressive. He's trying to generate plays. They both have level six. The Hextech Ultimatum is going to help so much with the dive. So is Larson's pass. Here it's going to jump himself forward and just gets blown up. Deleted. Wait, thank you. That is such a good word. And it also is going to be different to how they won that previous game. Absolutely. As you can see, they're not looking for anything to overextend themselves. They're simply just going for the stacking again, getting the dragon. Razok, I think, has three out of three. You see Larson on the move. They spotted here it, here it. You could 1v2, can you 1v3? We're going to find out. Razok is here. This will turn into a 2v2. Odo a little, a little bit late to the play. Hookshot comes in, and we'll be able to, with the help of the Hextech Ultimate, and pick up one. Grand Challenge was issued, and here it just walks into his... Three is just really hard, and Larson again on the map, creating builds for his... It's so much more important as well, because the tower is going to be secured. The Rift Herald the performances well. in week eight, just before we get to that in a moment, is there's a potential dive gap. Razork will audaciously charge for Blast Gun comes back out. There's not enough support. There's not enough information. But Razok just goes in and here it is in trouble yet again. He's just going to get dived here. He will indeed. The Hextech Ultimate is available. Not even going to need it. Shall get need fire it. and miss. Simply not good enough. So Misfits, they don't go. They go fishing. They don't catch anything. And it's Rogue that are now his signature pick. This was what he made his debut on in the LEC against Fnatic, and oh, has had fantastic performances. Paddlestar goes out, the clone is there available too. Cobby's in the bottom lane, I'm wondering if the Ashara comes out. Larson manages to escape, it costs him his flash. Now the mid tower is being focused down. Them. Fantastic play from Larson, continues to draw Misfits in, buying time. The tower was secure, but Razork's the target, is now Vanda's running for his life. Hextech Ultimate comes down, two quick kills for Rogue, then it's at the cost of Larson's life. Now VTO and Hero continue. something that is easier to execute when your opponent is much better at playing their game than you and optimistic to walk into Fog of War from Misfits and potentially try to find a pick. Again, they actually force fights. Uh, Inspired and Odo, they want to force a fight though. They threaten. Lawson is absolutely ever two, two, one, and five. Inspired is shadowing him, working together. Enchanted Crystal Arrow does come out directly under the tower. Here it issues a grand challenge. They get themselves a kill onto Odo. That's not the shutdown they're looking for. It's Inspired that's working. They're using Ash to move around the map and try to get objectives. But look at the side of the map. It is rogue. They brought the whole cavalry to make sure that they don't lose the Baron, that they get some vision down. And again, look at the picks. Will be, will Video be able to get a Sleepy Trouble Bubble? Will the arrow hit from Kobe? These are the very two very crucial tools that they have for Razork. And of course, there's no ultimate now for Razork. Is it during the gauge once again? Not enough support just yet. Paddlestar does a lot of damage to Trimby, but it's in fact Razork that goes down. Inspired steals his soul. Trimby's dead next, immediately followed up by Kobe, who did manage to get the ultimate off. There is one kill for here. It's now Inspired's running for his life. Three members of Misfits somewhat split up, and Hunt Summer remains untouched. He's able to destroy what remaining health bars there are. It's a two for three. Instantly, and V VTO cannot necessarily play the game. Also, we have to mention Infernal um, Sterox. No, that Harrod Path uh, as well, doing just a lot of buy time. Odo and Inspired will be able to Lawson's take that. going hunting. Oh. Vito a little bit split up. He could get jumped on. Flash is available to him. Gets caught, knocked up into the air by some time with that stopwatch. And here it's going to be too late to the fray. The Ashara comes up. That does tag down Trimby and Razor still alive in the middle. Vito was able to escape with his life. How? I do not know. Vander's the first to fall in the fight, but the GA is popped from Inspired. Take out of this whole trade is a Guardian Angel for Inspired. So Rogue will take that. They will take the mid lane tower. And very, very importantly, is that infernal soul but it could very well be converted into a baron because look at vanda he's in the oh! fountain for another five minutes and they lost their spite that was disgusting as larson literally deletes Razork. infernal soul is secured and vto He's going to try to stop and slow down here. Rogue Baron gets interrupted at 2,900. Vito will be next on the list. Larson is on a killing spree. He picks himself up yet another. 2,900. There's no ways this gets stolen here. It's trying to find something back. Odo running for his life. 600 HP and Baron is secured. Here it 
will be the next target to fall to Larson. With the Fiora, uh, the LeBlanc can definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Zoe. And if they don't want to brute force, which they will, they can also go one through one and take every single lane. Well, with the gigantic advantage Rogue have accrued, they now set themselves on the Nexus. Close out this next game. Razork will once oh. again be sent to the Fountain 0-6. Three. He has been removed from this game. The Nexus turrets are now falling. Hans Summer remains unkilled, as does Inspired. And Rogue will be one Nexus away from the next round. Will be one Nexus away from Guaranteed Worlds. Rogue will pick themselves up just a few extra kills before they go to match point against Misfits. I'm going to be honest. Match, but I think, especially this game. Oh, but it's not jungle. But it's too. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, but I think Lulu is more OP. I think at this at this scenario, Lulu has been making his way back. They've this is the way. The other one literally just crashed as well. They have two. They have two waves to play with. Vanda. Stuck underneath the tower. The Pillar of Ice will buy some time. That's a Zenith Blade 4. The turret helping out a lot. First Blood is already secured. Inspired was able to pick up the kill. Now he's stolen away the trundle. Pillar of Ice comes out. Copy's the next target. Flawless dive thus far, but Trimby will get taken down. It's Copy that picks up the kill. VTO spins the teleport onto Copy. Yeah. Easily lined up that second kill. And yes, he did get sacrificed, but it was able to flash. get two. Now here at Flashless, remember, he's going to put some damage down onto Odo. Is enough to trade back in a 1v2. Misfits once right now being uh, attempted. Misfits had absolutely no wave, no minions to keep the aggro, nothing. And our role can turn onto the aggressive. Trimby, he's going to hex flash over. Lawson's the target. Kill secured by VTO, but at Razork's life. Hans Summer's not going to be able to pick up the kill. Here it in fact, in. goes the way to Trimby. Pillar of Ice locks Trimby inside. He manages to walk up. Finally, second kill picked up this time. Pick. The VTO flanks, the Razork engages. And look at this, VTO, Razork. Rogue has no vision of this. 3v2, no teleport for Larson. The engage comes out, Hexec ultimatum. There's no support. Here it's been left alone. He flashes away to safety and here comes VTO. Looking for the Mimic, dashes forward. That's another kill. When becomes Lightning comes out and is the chase continuing? Razork with an audacious charge. Here it puts the hammer down. And it's gold up. My math was way off. And this time, because of just how badly this bottom lane is going, Rogue out here with that charge. I think that'll secure the tower as well. And it does. So here it gets accelerated even further. All lies on what is for Rogue. You have Larson on Lulu. He's chilling on a supportive mate. You have Odo Amna. He's been pushed back. He lost his tower so early. Caught by the enchanted crystal arrow. Not the target Rogue we're looking for. Dreamy doesn't Not have ult. The pick. Hansama doesn't have ult. VTO is jumping onto Larson. Needs to go back to the distortion. Inspired. Not going to be able to do enough. VTO's flashed away from that Zenith blade. Wild growth has already been used. Kobe can call the curtains back. He's holding on to the trigger. The first kill goes the way of Razork and the teleport comes in from Odo. Now Rogue, Misfits. the only one with ultimate available is now Trimby because he just came up. I think that was extremely optimistic uh, for Rogue trying to go in for that, that play right tower, It looks like they are still maintaining the 2,000 gold lead and they do need to defend this top tower from at least three members for now. Very clever. They have if the wild growth can have an impact, those are going to be tools that Rogue need to have flawless in order to draw Plain fights sort of How Rogue how we expect Rogue to play. Yeah, that level of control and pressing their advantage. I mean, when you highlighted the vision difference, Rogue did not see shit. This time round, the engage comes into Resort. Solar Flare comes out. The Wild Growth still available for Larson in the ensuing fight. There's no Herit yet. There's no shot loss. Inspired. Can he break the hearts of the bunnies? Flash forward, defensive flash from Resort. He's escaped for now. Van is trying to buy some additional time. The heal comes out. Resort still stays alive. Now Herit? all of a sudden, Vito re engaged from Herit. Inspired's going to avoid the chains, but he cannot avoid the flourish. Cobby's called back the curtain, lands the shots onto Trimby. Now he's the next target here. As Misfits continue the chase. Wild Growth finally used. Rooted in place as a deadly flourish sends Trimby to the fountain. Oh, have to pull onto him. Uh, Hansama was not there. And then Inspired goes on a journey. All on his lonesome. He's trying These to... things shouldn't be able to happen. Rogue's consistency and, and strength in the early game, it has been challenged. It has been interesting how that's happened. But it's been Misfits individual skirmishes and individuals they're pulling to peace on him up here it's going to be the target 600 gold is the bounty he gets turned into a little munchkin and it is inspired that picks up blank to wits and into the shield bow oh oh locked inside the baby cage vto is going to go down once again the thing is that's another shutdown the thing that's is 
trouble. Misfits cannot afford to lose focus, cannot afford to lose members, cannot afford to lose more. The solo they cannot afford to lose the game. But look at that shock blast. You're right. Lose this game and you're done. Misfits will drop down to low bracket and face either Fnatic. Or Doamne right now. And he's earning this advantage on his own on the bot side. You see me. for probably like 30, 40% of his yeah. hit points. Well, potential engage, yep. If Kavi uses the curtain call, that will be the ghost signal. Oh, he's gone! He flourish. All of a sudden, BTO's dead. He's blown up from all the CC. Misfits cannot afford for that to go wrong, but here it's got so much damage. What they have to do is pull the trigger for the Baron, force Misfits to fight into them again. If the pole go into the Baron pit. Here it will just play whack-a-mole and just be knocking BTO, down yeah. each of the rogue members so that the risk... We're talking about real bonk. Yes. And that's fast. The advantage. Baron is going down low. Ash Arrow not going to find a target. 3,000 hit points and Spike can make it inside the pit. Heartbreak has already been used, but so has the ultimate from Resort. The engage comes out. BTO jumps forward and Spike manages to use a stopwatch to go golden. Curtain call comes back from Cobb. He's firing out shots. First of all, is it Spike? That means there's no Smite. Baron's 2,500, but he's come as well. That's a gigantic turnaround. Baron's below 1,100, 1,200. Who's going to focus it down? Cobb's on a killing spree. That's the kill onto Resort. Now all of a sudden inside the pit. Misfits managed to pick up Baron, but that was a minute to drag. Again, this quadrant allows them to peel back for Soul. Right? Absolutely. As soon as it comes up. That's Trimby. He's going to hop over the wall, engages with the Zenith Blade. Copies the target, forced to flash away. Copies goes along. Dead. Finally taken out as Spike gets the kill. The Crescent God knocks members of Rogue backwards, What's but Resort is untouched. Next one to fall. Will be here. VTO needs to do something, but he's running away. This is a 2 for one Now VTO looking for the re-engage. Manages to pop. Oh, Don't get anything uh, tower-wise from that Baron, but what that will allow them is getting an Ocean Soul, and that's so... Blue. There are so many additional thoughts that you need to figure out. The Answer ah. up, but Misfits need to get this Nexus down before we can answer them. The Ash Arrow goes wide, Solar Flare doesn't find a target. This time round, Kobe and Kirito on the back line. BTO gets jumped on oh. by one That's immediately deletion. Curtain call to close out the game, to shut down Rogue in game four. That is what Kobe's looking for. That's a double kill for Hirit, another for Resort. They have the wave, they can end right now and push this into game number five. Misfits are breaking the curse of losing to Rogue all year long. Misfits will be knocking down the Nexus, forcing game five and be one Nexus away from the World Championship. This series, the games that we have seen today. So it's not as strong as it used to be. Now, hear it. Oh. He needs to redeem himself from that game one onto the NAR. They're going to trust him again. I think what is like really. I do think you anticipate that in the early stages, and instead. And Spy's now just going to walk straight down. Pulling TP. That's the crash down. Cobby flashes away, uses the heel. That's already first blood picked up by Rogue. Teleport arrives. The scatter, the weak, was fantastic. Five five. The pit, four out of five. The four previous five. game, Inspired was able to pick up the first dragon. But you're right. Four out of the five games. Now I'm going to uh, stop my mouth because Rogue are pulling the same gank over again. Reg line catches out Trimby this time round. Rezork is around to help out the fray. The re-engage from Inspired. That's the first kill secured VTO? by Rogue. VTO has got the flash, has got the perfect execution. Guys, in the face of Misfits, Vanda. Alcove Gaming, Gaming. Alcove Gaming. Alcove Gaming. Rogue. Not going to be able to do it just yet. They managed to catch Vanda. They forced the flash. Oh. But now Trimby's down low below 50. It's Vanda that picks it up with the Ignite. All of a sudden, he gets the boop down low. Dredge. No, and that's a Megana. Not. Dredge line will be able to catch out Inspired. The Ash Arrow flies down. That stuns up Rel. Not going to have the ultimate available. Van has already thrown out his. The first kill secure trade. It's support for support, but that's a dead Odo one day. VTO escapes with his life, and here it's running for his own. The re-engage from Inspired. Resort and VTO trying to get the damage. The tree three talent strike will slow things down, and here it gets taken out. The rest of the field is that between Fnatic, Mad Lions, Rogue, and G2. Pressure. While it hasn't had a bigger impact, I think a 35 CS lead and a kill is working. Oh, nice. He has been given every single resource that you can give him. And now the he kills, needs to deliver. The attention, two towers, turret platings, rift heralds. Now he needs to take all that gold and put it back into his team. 2,000 gold lead. Here he comes. For here it. Meganar will be available to him very soon. He's TP'd in. The boomerangs come back. Scatter the weak. Stuns up Vanda. He has already used the ultimate. Buy some time with a stopwatch. Where is the rest of Misfits? Where is Vitio? Vitio is stuck in the mid lane. He's putting pressure onto the tower. There's a teleport coming in from Odo from behind. Five 
five members of Rogue fighting onto three members of Misfits. Mega Nar has completed for Hirit. And Rogue back Mid -lane away. Mid wave instantly. They lose nothing. Macro wise, Misfits are doing perfectly fine. But they will lose this tower for now. That's the first Misfit. of the game. 17 minutes. That means in five minutes' time, Rogue are going to have to be pulled to fight, whether they like it or not. That is the current approach that Misfits are taking. Oh. But have they overstayed their welcome? The crash down, the magnet storm, the engage from Trimby. Odo teleports into behind. Vanda's going low. Odo continues to chase. That forces the flash away. So that's a kill back. And Rogue will be able to put some pressure Traded mid, for a tower. but they lose the bottom tower and the TP as well. Absolutely. And if you look at the TPs, Vitios is going to be back very shortly. Here it has his, but now Rogue are using the Rift Trail to take not only a kill, but take mid lane tower. This is going to be so important to try and bleed their vision into Misfit. that he didn't find an impact earlier this series. Here it's on the Gnar, on a champion that didn't have an impact earlier this fight is going to have to go for a steal. Flash is available to Hirit if he finds the target. He needs to find someone against the wall. There's no flash for Larson. That's a two-man knockback and a one-man stun. Vitio is chasing it to Hans Sama, who's flashless. But Vitio gets chunked out by the unstoppable force. The dragon's inside the pit. So is on a one day. Dragon is secured by Misfits. That's the Infernal Soul. They lose themselves. Vander, though, and the rest of Rogue get away. A one-for-one -one kill, but the soul goes to Misfits. Inspired was himself a Nautilus. He breaks the heart of Hirit, gets the heartbreaker, the second as well, looking for another. Believable. Baron will be secured, and after all of the good work, after all of the early... The Misfits were never meant to be here. Can they find a team fight? Can they get the Elder? That has been so good to Misfits all summer. So far, they won two games, not needing to even see the Elder on the map. The only thing that happens right now is that it puts Rogue back into the game because all that gold that they were bleeding is back and now they have even more in their pockets. They've re it's returned it's, with interest. It's and their the, game. And the problem is that whilst here it was able... Oh! That's the dredge line. The enchanted crystal arrow comes out, but nobody's dead yet. Oh, the one there, your Gwen. Snip, snip, snip. Needlework doing the job. Vitio gets out of range of the central ultimate by some time. Manages to trade his life. One for one, the Meganar comes here back because the stop watch comes out. Here it's going low, less than a thousand. He's taken out. Inspired needs the reset to break the hearts of all Misfits fans. But Kobe stays alive. The shield bow keeps him out. He's dead. Finally goes no. down. Inspired's got the reset. It's a 2v1. Looking for another. Resorts in so much trouble. Inspired with the blade of the Ruined King. Diego shuts down Misfits for the ace. The pentakill. And nine members on the rift are dead. Rogue are in absolute control. Inspired loses all his teammates, but he breaks Misfits alone. That Viego performance at one is heartbreaking for Misfits. So important here. Look at Vitio. They oh, can't. They want to end so the game. They don't want the Elder. To push the rest of Misfits, starting to recall. The inhibitor turret will fall. Now remember, this forces Misfits back. Against the volley comes out. Oh my word, nobody is yet able to fight. Meganar finally blocked. This has to be the go signal. The Meganar comes backwards. Not going to find the stun just yet. Kobe's trying to get the damage out, but it's already lost. And it's gone south. One, two, three members of Misfits are falling. That's it. Rogue have done it after 30 minutes and an inspiring performance from Inspired. Rogue take down Misfits. Turn to the base. And while they will lock down the Nexus and guarantee a ticket to Worlds, this was not the way it was supposed to be. Rogue got pushed, Rogue got beaten, but Rogue did not get broken. Rogue take down Misfits, three to two. And that was a hell of a performance. Do you need a hand?